Oh, oh for it, hurry, for it goes under. Oh, man. We're on our way to the hammock bait shop to get us some live shrimp, and then we're gonna head back to Flagler Pier, where we're gonna start fishing. More to come. Minis, minis. We're average size. That's in case we get some fish. It serves two purposes. We get some fish, we put it in there, and then if we want something cold to drink, we just take the ice out. Yeah, it's a little fishy, but it's still good. It's all good. Oh, here we're at Lagader, Lagader Beach, actually near the pier. It gets pretty busy down here. Walking out to the pier to get ready to set up and start some fishing. Parking around here is a little, a little bit challenging because everybody around going to the beach and surfers and stuff like that. But we're able to find something. I'm getting my sabiki ready. There's bait fish down there. So I'm just putting a... You shouldn't have to put uh, shrimp on sabiki, but I am. I always do. So oh, hooking in here. Yeah, and usually I, every single time I get something. So I put this on. I just cut a larger shrimp. I'll cut up in four pieces. A smaller one, of course, three, and then you have four hooks on here. But you got to be careful. You don't get these all tangled up too. That's the other issue with sabikis. There's so many hooks. You don't want to get them all stuck on you as well. Using these weights right here, just enough to. Get it down. Usually, I put it down near the the end one, right above, because they typically try to move down on me. They'll slide down through the bottom hook, so I put them above the the knot right here. Ouch! See, that's what I mean. If you're not careful, you stick yourself like there. And I usually put two on, kind of like so, like that. Like that and now we're ready to go drop it down here with these fish and we'll see what I can get I don't know if I should hit. Come to the left. Take up. All these fish. Oh, it's a stinker. I don't know. It doesn't want to move, that's for sure. It's a stinker. Oh, can I just die? Can I get it? Yeah, that's moving. Get follow, watch the watch the watch the watch. So you gonna keep up? I hope not. If I can't. You gonna hold that? Let's see if I can. He's coming. A little bit. Uh, he's down, man. You got a reel. Somebody's got a reel. Oh, now he's gonna pull back. Like, fling it like a guitar. That'll get him angry and he'll start moving. Yeah. Once he gets, he gets off oh, the don't, don't start. <laughs> oh, I got it to move. <laughs> yeah, you got it to move. So now this is the time when you force it up. Then it's not on the bottom. Really? Oh, this is a fight. <laughs> you should be happy. He's coming, there he is, he's coming, there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got your hook? Yep, I got you. Yeah. Oh, oh for it, hurry. Oh. Wait, 
Good job. Woo. Watch the tail. Ready? Careful. His tail. Oh my goodness. So that was the that was the biggest stingray I've ever caught and it was big. It was heavy and it was hard to get in. I mean it sat there in one place. I thought it was uh, just uh, I thought it was just snagged but it wasn't so I used my hand to try to pull a little bit on the string uh, to move it. A good thing I changed my line. Uh, it was strong enough, uh, heavy enough. Uh, a lot of times they'll run underneath the pylons and try to wrap so that's why I set my drag real high. Unfortunately, you know, that tends to, if they're fighting real hard, you could, it could break too. Uh, but luckily I got it in. Some guy had a, um, I don't know what they're called. It's like a three prong hook and he threw it down there and he helped me bring it in because I didn't bring my net. I wouldn't, have brought, I wouldn't have been able to get that thing up. But now we're off to the next. See what we can do. You can see a snook swimming around down there. He's just waiting. He's baiting us. Snook underneath. We actually have a camera we put underneath the water to see what's what kind of fish is down there. And it's interesting to um, understand what when you throw your line down, what's actually down there. And you can see these. I, I think somebody told me these are called hardtails. But if you know what these are called, let me know. But there was a lot of them down there. But you'll see. Um, it's interesting that you'll see. Uh, other things like flounder, stingray, snapper, snook, um, mackerel, um, but they're just swimming around down there. And there's a mackerel right in front of you. There's a snook. And dropping the camera down in the water and looking at the video later gives you a different perspective on what's actually down there, what's swimming around down there. So uh, at times you're up there fishing and you're not getting any bites. But when you drop the camera down, you see all these fish. It's just a different perspective. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, oh, maybe it's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck now. Mm -hmm. Oh. All that big oh, no. It's gonna be stuck now. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's yeah, behind. Got, yeah, because it'll drag you under. Oh. Yeah. Fish got the line wrapped around the, the pylon here. So I'm gonna have to cut it and redo it. He's a big boy. He's right there. Foster, foster. Ah, oh, another stingray. So you can see that uh, that's not my treble hook, that's that gentleman's treble hook. But no, nobody's fishing with a treble hook. It's illegal uh, to do that um, in, a, in a lot of places. I think in most places, uh, we're just using, we keep these stingrays, so I'm not actually worried about um, using the hook. And I forgot our net. Um, so this is the only way we could get it up. But yeah, so we keep these stingrays. So please don't worry um, that we're using this to bring up the stingray. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, here's a nice place to fillet your stuff. You can clean your stuff right here. And then you don't have to dirty yourself up when you get home. Although if you have a table at home, it's not so bad either. <sighs> Look at this. Let's try to clean it off here. Look at that thing. Look at it. I'm fumbling with the bungee. Um, I used it because I lost my pole. Well, I got it back, but the, in Boca Grande, it went over the edge. So I started using these bungees to hold my, especially my bigger pole. Um, so it wouldn't, if something grabbed the, the line, took the bait, that it, my pole wouldn't go over. Um, but it's also a pain. So when something grabs it and it's pulling real hard, it's really hard to get the pole out of the bungee. So I don't use it anymore. I've learned since then what, what to do. So I don't have that problem anymore. There he is. Oh, shark. shark. How am I going to get him up? Oh, he's gone. That was a big shark. What do you mean, no, but that was a big shark. Okay, it wasn't eight foot. But it was good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a bigger one. Wow, it's a big one. All right, we got our third uh, stingray today. We aren't coming out here to catch stingray, but we got a third one. Almost got a shark. Our first one was the biggest one, second one was the smallest one, and this is kind of the medium. So it's like the uh, um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Anyway, we're gonna clean this one, take it home, and play it, and eat it. So when we catch these stingrays, we keep them, we eat them, and you can see my wife's gonna cut the wings off here, but it's a nice table out here at the Flagler Pier. Um, where you can fillet your fish before you actually take it home. So we usually cut the wings off out here. We throw the carcass over the side and the sharks eat the rest of the stuff. So it doesn't go to waste. But you can actually use the carcass for bait too if you, if you wanted to. For shark bait. So my wife's playing the, taking the wings off. A lot of meat on this thing. Man, this thing's big. Look at that. Nice. We, we'll fillet it at home, but we'll take the main parts off there. All right, I just learned something. To loosen the drag, put it out, because I'm so afraid that the pole is going over. So I, I was tying them around the, uh, the post right here. And uh, so I was taught to loosen the drag a lot. And then once you get a hit, then you tighten the drag up after you grab the pole. And I have to give credit to this, this guy right here. You can learn a lot from everybody. So don't think, just because they're young, you can't learn from them. You can learn from everybody. All right, we had another big one on. Look at the hook. Hook's gone. I think it was shark, because the hook's gone. And I don't have a metal lead. It's just a regular mono or fluoro lead. So we're gonna try again though. We're done for tonight. We actually had a pretty good night. Uh, we caught uh, three pretty large stingray. And I had a shark. It got off, but it was the biggest one I've ever had. Now, it wasn't like, probably some of you guys have caught um, eight foot, 10 foot. It wasn't like that, maybe three, four foot, uh, but it got off the line. We saw it, but it got off. My wife had another one on the line, uh, pretty strong, um, and it took the hook off. Um, maybe I need to check, maybe I'm not tightening my hooks well enough uh, to where, you know, they come loose and, you know, um, the hook stuck in the, the fish or whatever it was, the mouth, and uh, it's gone. Uh, with the, without the hook but i think it was a shark i don't know for sure um i didn't catch any this is the first time i never caught any um bait fish off my sabiki rig they just weren't biting for some reason and i don't know why i did lose the rig i'm gonna have to go get another one i lost the rig it got stuck it got hung on one of the pylons and you know that was it so i'm gonna have to go get another one but we had a good night we're excited 
And we got to fillet, not fillet, we didn't actually fillet everything, but we cut the wings off um, the stingray here because they have a, a place to where you can actually um, cut the fish off if you wanted to. They have little hoses, you can clean it and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. And then you don't have to take it home and make a mess uh, in your house. Um, so it was a good night. We had a good time and now we're out of here. So until next time, subscribe and good night.